man it is cold today i just went over to my my set to get some zip ties so i can do this uh, install install today and man it is it's cold anyway welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be installing some sort of emergency siren system for a scenario such as maybe when i'm boondocking somewhere on a long trip if there's a stranger trying to break into my camper while i'm in it or uh or in my truck i can uh, you know trigger the alarm to maybe alert passers-by get some attention scare them off or if i'm off the grid camping and there's wildlife like a bear or something and i need to get out the camper and just scare him off i need something that's gonna be loud enough and also draw the attention of anyone who's nearby that might be able to help so stay tuned today's video is going to be about emergency siren strobe light installations I've got an itch I can't scratch, I'm missing a piece that completes a whole part of me, an open wound scar to see. Everybody come here, gather round, welcome to the freak show, the best in town. What the hell's wrong with me? I don't get along with anybody, honestly. I've been living in my own head, constantly thoughts jumbled round, think I need a new lobotomy. Okay, so like always, I'm going to be going through what I'm going to be using, and of course, like always, links are always below if, in case you wanted to uh, purchase the same items. So first off, I have zip ties, because if you follow me, you know that I'm not a big fan of drilling into aluminum. Even steel I wouldn't drill into because every hole you drill into uh, starts potential rust. So I avoid as much as I can, but if absolutely necessary, I'm going to go ahead and drill. In this case, because every item I'm going to be installing is so lightweight, I always like to use a commercial grade double-sided tape and zip ties so first off i got these on amazon here is a four inch um, horn um, this is for a car alarm and i believe this is about 119 decibels so super loud this is the loudest one i could find online and it looks like it's made by a company named nippon america and over here i have I believe this is by a company named GP Power. And these are red and blue emergency strobe lights. Of course, it's very easy when you're doing it with one hand. So these are very simple. I, I uh, pre-tested these when they came in just to make sure they were all working properly. But these are superly, I mean superly, excuse me, but super easy to install. Um, of course, we have red is hot, black is ground, and the yellow on these is so that you can change the pattern of strobing on these lights. So, what I'm going to do after very careful thinking, I want the strobe lights to aim down because I felt like it would project better on the ground when it's dark. But again, because I'm not a big fan of drilling, I think what I'm gonna do is go straight along this main center aluminum frame right there and just aim two LEDs this way and then two LEDs on that side. And like always, we always have to clean the surface on which we're gonna be mounting the tape. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is, this has a bit of a, of a hump here and the wires, the wires come out. So I have to build this up with some of the tape here. And of course, it'll get zip, zip ties as well, but for now, I have to build it up so that way the tape can catch.
after we we built up that that little lip there with some tape we're going to set your stroke pattern um, using the red and the black but the using the yellow wire to to uh, to tap in as well to set your pattern the way you do that is you can take a regular a regular battery and hold the negative and hold the positive and it's going to be strobing and then you take the the yellow and you tap the positive and that's going to change the pattern but I already have my pattern set so I'm going to go ahead and leave mine like that We have to test out the siren and see where we're going to mount it. Mount it, wire it, and see where we go from there. Same thing with the siren, you're going to use a regular battery, positive to positive, negative to negative. I uh, I closed off my battery case a little too early because now I have to run my negative up back through there out through here and to this pre-installed negative wire that I left hanging here about two videos back where I was installing the rocker switch for the very first time with the rock light so let's go ahead and do that now I've already cleaned up, picked up my mess, did a walk around, double checked all my, my work, 
We're gonna go ahead and test the siren. We're gonna look at the lights. Make sure you share, like, subscribe. Give me that thumbs up, of course. And uh, stick around to the end of the video so you can see how the lights look at night. But let's go ahead and see if the siren's working. Oh yeah. All right, that might be a little bit too loud. But let's take a quick peek at the lights. That's it, it works. Again, thanks for watching. Let's see how this looks at night, and I'll see you on my next video. Okay, I think it's uh, it's dark enough so we could check out our new strobe lights with the siren that I installed here on the trailer. Let's hit this cutoff real quick. Turn it on. My neighbor's gonna kill me. Let's see. Try the underglow lights first. All right, those are good. 